have you heard of the newest fitness craze? Go yoga, that's right. Go yoga is sweeping the nation. Hmm, what is goat yoga? Yo goat yoga is an art slash act of combining and yoga ex exercise class with goats. While working through yoga poses, goats freely roam and interact with yogis. Hi, my name is Hannah Golden. This is our video for Just Kidding Goat Club. Hi, I'm Katrina Duque from the Somerset County Just Kidding Goat Club. And as a health officer, I'd like to share with you some of the benefits of goat yoga. It can retain a healthier heart, and it also has been shown to combat diseases and ADHD. Also, more than better than usual yoga, you can have resistance training from the goats, and, it's, and it relieves stress a lot more because you have cute, cuddly goats all around you. Hi, I'm Caroline Terry, and I'm also part of the Just King Goat Club in Somerset County. And I'm gonna tell you a little, about, a little bit about yoga in general. So a usual yoga class is made up of four series of different kinds of poses. So the first type are the sun salutation, which is the warm up, and then you move on to stretch and strengthening, then you have some balancing poses, and then last is the relaxation part, shavasana. So now we can demonstrate some of these goat yoga poses for you. So first we have butterfly. Great stretch for your hips and opens up your lungs. So now to incorporate goats into this pose, you can have one of them sit on your lap. So our next pose is child's pose. And here you can see you can incorporate goats by having them balance on your back, which adds a little bit of weight resistance too. So our next pose will be upwards plank. So this is another pose where the goat can walk around on people's backs and add a little bit of weight resistance. <laughs> so our next pose is warrior which is another balancing and strengthening exercise. Our next pose is camel, or if you're a little bit less flexible, you can do half camel. So half camel is when you have one arm up and the other one touching your ankle, or you could do both if you're able to. Our last pose is our relaxation pose called Shavasana. And here it's great to get your mind off of things, to just focus on the goats and your body. Goats are perfect for the yoga practice because it's not only combining nature and animals, it's combining yoga and they all go together so well.